Hello and thank you very much for joining us for this edition of Open Heavens Reflections based on daily devotional written by Pastor E. E. Adiboye, the General Vasya of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Fueke Christian Atolani and I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic is the benefits of salvation, part one. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, from 8 to 9. It will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken, and it, it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Our memory verse is from the book of John, John chapter 14 from 27, uh, verse 27. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Our reflections, the miracle of salvation has a transforming power in the life of the person who experiences it. A brother who, born again, who got born again said, having been born into a different religion, shared, you know, he shared his experience and he said, something happened to me that was beyond the realization of men. The moment I asked Christ to be my personal Lord and Savior, a transformation took place immediately an indescribable joy filled my soul and I experienced a peace that words cannot describe. I laughed and wept at the same time. Tears rolled from my eyes onto my cheeks. From that time onward, I began to have a very strong hatred for what I used to love doing, especially sinful acts that used to give me happiness were no longer sources of pleasure to me anymore. I began to have desire for the things of God. I composed songs to him, sang to him, and wanted to be alone many times so that I could just express my love and appreciation to him for saving me. Everybody close to me knew that something tangible had happened to me, and I no longer was the same person that they knew before. My behavior and mannerisms changed totally, and I began became a brand new person. My dear friend, that was the testimony of someone who encountered the saving power of Jesus Christ. Truly, his life was changed and transformed forever and everyone took notice. When you also determine to accept the salvation of Jesus Christ, which is offering to you today, you have a lot to gain and nothing to lose. Actually, you will lose some things you will lose your fear of the future and gain a hope for tomorrow. You will lose the heavy weight of condemnation that is hanging over your life right now and instead receive justification from the Lord. You will lose the troubles and afflictions that have been your best friends for a long time and gain comfort, healing and deliverance. You will lose your covenant with death and gain the covenant with it of eternal life in Christ Jesus. You will lose the terrible life of perpetual poverty and failure, and instead, you gain a life filled with fruitfulness, prosperity, and success in all your endeavors. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead today and invite him into your life today because you have a lot to gain and so many bad things to lose. Our prayer point, Father, let me experience the full joy of salvation in every area of my life. And if you're listening to me right now and you are not yet saved, you don't know the Lord, if Jesus were to come right now, you're not going to make heaven, please pray this prayer with me. Pray right now that the Lord will forgive you all your sins and that from today you're promising the Lord not to sin anymore. You will surrender everything to, to the Lord Jesus Christ and he will be your Lord and Savior from today. And so shall it be as you make that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Also make sure to read your Bible every day, obey God's instruction, look for a Bible-believing church, and it shall be well with you. God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.